Hello everybody and welcome to Real and Virtual Outdoors. Good to see you, good to see you, good to see you. Nothing puts a smile on my face like coming on here and seeing all these messages. Hello, Scrolling by, chip my audio, we're good. <clears throat> Alright, I just love to come in here and see all these little messages we got going on here. And boy, we've had a bunch today. Let's see, my friend Don R is here, Chris Everett. There's Martin from the UK. He says, my insurance has been increased. And later on, he said, <laughs> everything's been removed from the roadway, <clears throat> including the lights, because I ignore those well. <laughs> Hello, Nick. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, scrolling here. Uh, Susquehanna stand. Oh, boy, crash and burn. You ain't got no room to talk. About nobody's driving ability, my friend. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see. I believe we are Quiet Man Curtis. <clears throat> Drawn Prince. Good to see you. I don't think I've seen you before. It's nice to see you. All right. So. We're going to drive the truck today. Uh, sorry I'm running a few minutes late. I was finishing up the last touches of a intro video for Thursday's live stream. We're going to do some uh, we're going to do some fishing on Thursday's live stream. Uh, we're going to crappie fish. We're going to do something different. We're going to chase a different species. So I invite you to join me there. I've been catching some nice ones. I have been working on Lake Hamilton on Bassmasters 2022. That is going to be the next Bassmasters Open Tournament. So I've been pre-fishing that lake and charting maps uh, so that I know where I'm going and what i got to do. The Bassmasters Open Online Virtual Tournament that I fished in on Lake Ray Roberts on Bassmasters 2022 uh, there were over 500 people involved in that tournament. My goal was to finish in the in the top 200. I finished 245 the first time I'd done it. And uh, my goal was to finish the top 200. And I did that. I finished 93rd overall. Uh, very pleased with that. I have a feeling if I had not had a bad first day, first round rather, that I probably could have been close to the top 50. But it was a slow first round for me. Second, third round, I did a lot better. Pretty well, uh, almost doubled my bag limit from the first round. So, of five bass. Lake Hamilton's pre-fishing right now is going well. I found some hot spots. I know we'll find some big bass. So we're going to try to keep moving forward and maybe one of these days we might get in the top 10 or win this thing. So we're going to do some crop fishing from Lake Hamilton on Thursday and I invite you to join me uh, on that. Tomorrow is baseball. Come watch me play baseball. I'm going to give you a live presentation of baseball as I possibly can. Uh, we're mixing a little sports in. I know we haven't played the Hunter Call of the Wild somebody wants to see that uh you know always say hey play the play the call of the wild i'm usually in caitlin's stream so we're probably met in there i appreciate it uh yes i'm a big fan of caitlin and uh she is growing she is over 800 subscribers and uh everybody go check caitlin out if you like what she's doing subscribe to her she's a she's a great gamer and a good person and uh, she's growing, and she deserves to be uh, make that uh, 1K plateau. Alvin Lewis, I'm looking for the driver's safety class. <laughs> you won't find it here. Uh, all right. Let's get this show on the road, boys and girls. Let's see what I can get into today. I have not even picked a job. I've been busy this morning. 
I made a Valentine's Day card for my beautiful wife. And I've been busy. Uh, uh, so I've been busy with that. And uh, I got to get back over here to this. Yesterday, I, uh, uh, spent today helping Mr. Steve Adams get his part of the day, getting him going on the trucking game, so we haven't, uh, I've been kind of short on time today, I need to get my videos done, and, uh, or Thursday, I wanted to make an intro video, so that's what I've been doing. How's everybody else's week going? We're gonna take a little, we're gonna take a long trip today, be at least two hours. So let me be patient with me and let me look up a trip uh, because I've been doing other stuff and I, I usually do this ahead of time, but I just didn't get it done today. We are going to take a trip uh, today from California. Uh, I don't know where we're going yet, so we're going to. But I'll figure it out. We're going to go from California uh, today to. Uh, Amarillo. That's a long trip. That's 1,200 miles. This stream may run over a little bit, but we're going to take this trip right here. So, 1,266 miles. Hope this don't turn out to be a nightmare. <laughs> And we're going we're gonna to take a contract job today. Uh, instead of driving my truck, I'm trying to uh, take a few more contract jobs to advance. <clears throat> my money uh, situation where I can get more trucks. I think Susquehanna Stan has got a couple of trucks. I don't even know how to do all that. So I got to, I got to get get busy with that okay here we go oh Lisa good to see you my friend hope everything's going good for you uh, let's get my lights on get my brights on get my windshield wipers are going I want to uh, I want to mention our uh, good friend Lyle Stokes. He's uh, had a passing in his family, so I hope that uh, and prayers for him and his family. And let's keep Lyle in our thoughts. Uh, it's always difficult to lose a family member. All right, this truck has <coughs> got a long nose on it. I guess I better look at this trailer before I... Let me look at this dude. What am I hauling here? Oh Lord, I hope that's empty. <laughs> uh, I hope that's empty, Alvin Lewis. We don't need no more chemical spill. Referring to the chemical spill that was in... Uh, Pennsylvania, I believe, is where that was at. I have turned on the... Um, I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. I, I've turned this on. This is a automatic... Uh, look. So when I turn the wheel, 
this joke is supposed to look to the direction the wheels turning, so I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not, but we're gonna we're gonna Turns try it. I may run over everything. <clears throat> I've already hung the gate. Tell you, I ain't gonna like that. We're probably gonna be turning that off. <clears throat> yeah, let me kill that right now. That's gonna get on my nerves. Hello, Emily. Good to see you. Good to see you. It won't take me long to kill that, folks. Let me kill that setting, because that's going to drive me nuts. Uh. <clears throat> I got to find it here. There it is. We turn it that off. That'll drive me. That'll that'll have me all messed up. Alright, let's try that. See if I got that joker off. Yeah, I got it off. Thank goodness. Alright, now we now we're ready, ready to go. To turn right. Turn right and then turn left. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. My wife and I are going to have a red lobster tonight. Yes, we're old. We don't go out to eat. We order in. <laughs> we'll probably watch a movie tonight. If she wants to. It's... Her night, so whatever she wants to do, we will do. If she wants to watch a movie, we'll watch a movie. If she wants to mop me the bottle for her and my boo boo, I'll do that too. Whatever she wants. Turn on auto wipers. Uh, well, okay. How do you turn on auto wipers? Oh, you mean in the settings? Yeah, okay. I'll go back and do that later. What is that? Uh, where it detects the rain and turns them on automatically? It's rain detection or something like that. I'm going to tell y'all something. I've started to trend here, and I'm not fixing to lie to you. I've got, I've got Stan to play in. We've got Hog Leg playing. We've got Coach playing. I think Coach's friend CP is going to be playing. we got a lot of folks joining this trucking game. So, and they've been, I wish this truck right here would go somewhere. 
making me nervous. So I'm fixing to pass these children. Uh, so I get a I get a notification when somebody is in a game from my Steam notification. So I can tell you that old coach been burning it up. <laughs> We're going to have to get old coach on the convoy. Uh, I, he was playing with a keyboard, and, and uh, he got him a, a game control, got him an Xbox control like I use. Uh, and we got, him set, we got him set headphones, too. We tested all that out yesterday and got, him, got, him, got his control working and got his headphones going, and we tested it. We're going to get coach on the convoy. Needs to join me and Hog Leg and Stan. That'd be a great show. Now, Stan, you got to you got to do right when we got Coach on there. You can't run over it. <laughs> Old lead foot Stan. So while we drive, we'll just do a little talking and a little visiting. I got to get gas sometime. Oh, CVA, how are you, my friend? Good to see you. Uh, so, the Bass Bastards Tournament that I've been fishing in, it takes a lot of preparation. Uh, there's about eight or ten lakes on that game, and I haven't fished all those lakes thoroughly. And uh, when they first did this thing, you had the ability to put electronic waypoints down. Anyway, to make a long story short, when they started the tournament, I mean, people went into the server, they lost all their waypoints. So I do, I chart my own maps. Uh, I think I'm supposed to go this way. I hope. A new route. No, I went the wrong way. Uh, you posted a hundred mile an hour picture. That is not surprising. Lance Paku guy, the Hawaiian fisherman. Good to see you, Lance. So, uh, to make a long story short, I chart my own maps and. So when I fish a lake in order to compete in a tournament, I have to really fish the whole lake thoroughly to find these hot spots where these big bass are. Because there's just certain spots that there's fish that's over uh, in, the, in the 8 to 15 pound percentile. And I need fish that's going to be between 10 and 15 pounds to really compete. I need five. So I have to hunt them up. So I have spent a lot of time. I probably got another, about uh, five or six hours of fish time before I located these hot spots where I know I need to go. There's a gas station up here. We're going to stop a few. So it's just not get on there and turn it on and compete. Uh, it's just, it's a lot of, it's a lot of preparation. And, and it takes, it takes dedication to, to fish a lake eight, six, eight hours in order to find these fish. I mean, let me catch up on my chat just a minute here and I get to the gas station. I'm gonna whoop it in here and get a little, get a little diesel. Now, if I say gas, and Hogleg hears me, he's going to scold me for that. He says it's not gas, and he's absolutely right, it's not. It's diesel. And he'll tell me about it, too. <laughs> Let's see now, let me catch up on my chat. Uh, uh, Chuck, what's going on, Chuck? There's, there's Chuck right there. That's who I was talking about. I think he's joined the game of the trucking world. 
Good to see you, Chuck. All right, let's get some gas, or some diesel, rather. So, my, uh, yep, yeah, he says he did. Yeah, good deal, Chuck. Well, we got Coach's headphones going yesterday and got his, uh, and got him going. And, uh, on his remote, con on his, uh, game control. So he's, we got, I got him going yesterday, so. And give me a little, it took us about 30, 40 minutes to get everything set up. But hey, I got to visit with Coach, and that's always a good thing. So, I always enjoy visiting with Steve. Uh, so yesterday morning, I tell you all a little funny. Yesterday morning, I woke up, and uh, <clears throat> my wife said, did you see this? held phone up to my face and uh, <laughs> somebody stand there holding the fish. Well I didn't I didn't know who it was. A doggone phone. I barely made that turn. Uh, Get ready to turn right. So anyway, so I had to wait for that doggone phone to quit ringing. That phone ring, it won't ring all day now. It doesn't ring. Turn right. While I'm on live. But anyway, you should tell the phone up to my face. Uh, and somebody stand there holding a big catfish. She said, that's 128 and 123. And I said, well, who caught that? And she said, your brother dialed. And I'm like, who? <laughs> She's like, your brother. And I'm like, ain't no way uh, that he caught that by himself. He must have had, he must have had somebody with him. I mean, I know that a, I know that, that a blind squirrel can, can uh, come across the nut every once in a while, but two nuts, nah. So I called him on the phone after I got up and got my coffee going. I said, hey, I said, uh, who'd you have with you yesterday when you caught them two fish? He said, I had my friend, the guide, with me. I looked at my wife and started laughing. I said, I told you. <laughs> uh, he called a 28 and a 23. Right, and then exit right. Pound blue. Uh, that joker. Exit right. I mean, I knew he could stump, probably stumble across one, but two? No, nah, I knew left. better than that. Gonna be going left here, folks. Gonna be taking another left to get back on the right path. This trailer is long, got a long right. tongue on it. I'll find a new route. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Golly. Well, we're stuck with it now. She's just going to turn me in a circle up here. She'll get me off the interstate again. Lisa's going to say we're going in a circle, and she'd be right. Keep right, and then exit right. Exit right. He said yesterday, he said, well, he said, I'm, he said, I've been running around on the lake trying Turn to find left. out where the properties is at. 
Now keep in mind that that's my home lake and I fished that lake for 30 years of my life. And uh, I said, well, you don't need to run around all over the lake and find the fish. I can tell you where they're at. He's like, you can? I'm like, yeah. I said, you know, to go down to the mouth of uh, Hickory Creek Get ready to and start up. fishing right there. I said, they're there turn every left. year. I said, they're there in that 25 foot of water staging up, getting ready to go spawn. He's like, well, I wish I'd known that the other day. I'm like, well, you should have called me and asked me. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Uh, she said, we're entering the friendly stage and we circled. Yes, ma'am, we are, because I missed the dog all turn. Shocking, right? Get to talking, running my my gap, and missed the uh, went the wrong way, turned left when I should have went straight. Yeah, those fish are there every year, is what I told him. They're gonna be right there in the mouth of Hickory Creek, in that 25 foot of water, feeding up on them shad that's down there. Keep right, and then exit right. And then they'll move up in Hickory Creek to spawn, and then after they're done, they Exit. will come out because it gets hot here fast. Uh, warms up very fast here in Texas. They will come out of Hickory Creek, and they'll go to the main lake, bridges, left. and brush piles, concrete, pylons, and etc. But I am ready to get out on the boat. He is in the process of now getting a bed for the spare bedroom where I got a place to sleep. You know, I'm gonna go down there and spend a little time and we're gonna get on the boat. We're gonna try to do some lives pretty soon. I know there'll be some videos probably maybe first. Uh, I need, what I'm gonna have to do is consult with some of my fellow friends in the community and find out Really, I mean, I guess the, 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 the <clears throat> I got a phone. I need battery packs. I know, I know to order those. And uh, did I just go the wrong way again? Well, at least I think I did the same dumb thing. Oh. Uh, I did. Keep right and then exit We're right. making another. <laughs> exit right. Yeah, we're making another circle, Lisa. Uh, so, I need to consult with them on how Turn they left. keep their telephone cool. Yeah, Chuck, I know. <laughs> you could have told me that a while ago. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to go straight back there. This idiot back here is right on my tail, and I've got to turn his truck. Watch I run it off this cliff. Get ready to turn left. I need to figure out how they keep their turn cell phones left. cool. Because I'm afraid I'm gonna overheat out there doing live. See above. Now we're entering the premises. <laughs> That's your seatbelt. See my shocked face. I did it again. No, I didn't do it again. I'm going. I got to go back.
Exit right. It's this one that I gotta go straight on and not turn back turn on the left. interstate. Watch what you're doing there, buddy. That was a cop. Now he run over me. Alright, I gotta go straight here. That joker run over me. That's what I should have done two times ago. Alright, we're on the right track now. So I, I got to find out what's the best way to keep my phone cool. And I'm probably going to have to uh, sign up for StreamYard. So, other than the free plan. <laughs> he said 1,200 miles would be 1,500 for he's You're probably right, Chuck. You're probably right. Uh oh. What in the devil is this disaster? Tell y'all something. We gonna be we gonna be doggone lucky. Yeah, I hope I can get out of this. If we make this fifteen hundred mile trip, yeah, Lisa's laughing. I do. <laughs> we gonna be we gonna be doggone lucky if we if we make this fifteen hundred way. This joke started out. Golly. Maybe one of those uh, trips where we. I wasn't supposed to do that, Chuck, but I did it. Okay. Oof. I just a little scratch, it'll buff out. God, this road's. Gonna be challenging. I can see that. Why are we doing this in the dark? I make sure I got my rights on. Let me stop right here. Just make sure. There we go. Now I, I had the brights on. They went off. Whoop! I just killed the lights. What happened? All right. Now I got the dad gun parking brake on. Let's do this. This sun, this this rain needs to go somewhere and this sun needs to come up. Golly.
Alright, we're rolling now. too fast. Let's slow her down a little bit. <clears throat> we are probably going to have to stop and get this truck worked on. Before it's all said and done. Get ready to turn right. Now let me just pull over here real quick and see where there's a doggone service station. <clears throat> oh, let's see. Where is. Maybe there's one in this town up here in Barlow. I think there is. Yeah, there he is. All right. We got to go this way anyway. So we're going to go right by that service station and get the truck worked on. Ready to roll. And repair the damage. Uh, get ready to turn right. We're going to... We're going to blame that on Alvin Lewis for giving us a, a defective truck. Go to sleep. Why would I go to sleep? So I got the uh, automatic blinker turned on. So when I, I don't have to fool with turning that blinker off now. Turn the wheel and go off. Uh, let's see if I can get on the interstate here without a mishap. Let me on, buddy. Thank you. Now, staying in hog leg is a little bit more advanced in all the tricks to this game than I am. I got too many games. <laughs> I like to play too much of a variety. I hadn't even played Call of the Wild in probably three weeks. Uh, I have been getting on there shooting the bow, but I haven't shot it, really hunted. On the 16th at 8 p.m., I will be live, that's Thursday. Jebba and I are going to do a multiplayer hunt. We're going to go on his map, and I am going to shoot a great one moose, courtesy of Jebba. He's let me go on his map and take a great one moose. It's a great honor because he has probably killed somewhere in the neighborhood of a thousand moose to spawn that great one sort of a grind. I'm not much of a grinder. I've never killed a great one. So when I take the moose, it will go in my lodge. And there it will remain. Uh, always. 
or at least until the world blows up. <laughs> Oh, I ain't worried about, I ain't worried about driving at night. I do wish the rain would quit. Let me see what Alvin Lewis wrote here. I went to get my CDL license today. There. <laughs> I'm sure they did. Uh, wonder they didn't put you in jail for even going up there. Oh my goodness. I'm sure they did. Uh, Oh, it's gonna be interesting. I think it's gonna be interesting to watch Cody drive. He says, I don't wreck. And then next breath, he said, I don't want to drive 35 miles an hour. <laughs> Golly. Well, the good thing about driving and taking a job, if I burn this truck to the ground, it ain't my truck. <laughs> I'd like what Stan run over hog leg and total is. Keep right and then exit right. Exit right. Turn right. He said, I get a, I get a job at UPS. Oh my gosh. Ready to turn left. I don't know what that was. Turn left. I must have been a pothole. get the repair done and then we're going back on the road. Won't take long. Make sure I don't move around it here. Good Lord, they sure don't give you a lot of room to get this joker in there. Well, one thing about it, if I smash it up on that brick wall right there, I'm close to the repair Ricky. shop. Getting it out of here may be fun. All right. 
Truck repairs. Golly, $6,000. Pay the man, Alvin Lewis. I just hired my third driver and full update the garage. Golly. Yeah, y'all way ahead of me. Y'all got too much time on your hands. All right, we are repaired. So let's get this joker out of here now. And then get back on the road. Y'all, y'all, y'all be driving. I see y'all on there. I mean, they, they playing the heck out of it. You sure getting your money worth. Just put it on my tab. Alright, let me get right here now and reset my navigation. And we're ready to go. Continue the trip of a lifetime. All right, we're good. Take a right turn and we're on the right path. that pedal on the right side. I think that's a floor mat and not a pedal, but it does look like a pedal. It sure ain't for you to drive, I can tell you that. All right, so we're going Get ready to turn left. We are going to have some a couple of new games coming up. And uh Turn left. On this channel. They are going to be Driving games. We're going to have some more driving games. We're going to have one racing game. It's, a, it's not a track racing game. It's kind Get of an right. off-road. Right. It's, it's an action game. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and i tell you what the name of the game was. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go ask Google how to pronounce it. I think it's Fraza or something like that. Franz? I don't know. But anyway, uh, y'all probably know what I'm talking about. And then we got Breakfast, which is gonna be a crash up derby, which is right up my alley. We're gonna we're gonna have some fun with those two games. Uh, and then keep right, and then, then we're going to have a. Uh, before too long, we are going to have turn another right. mystery wrestler coming out. Rerouting. Uh, I missed a turn. Talk too much and don't listen to what she's saying. So we're going to have a new mystery wrestler coming up and I invite you to join me for that that's always going to be fun and at the end of the year or after I get about 10 or so bodies made up we are going to have a uh, it ain't no break I'm in total control Alvin Lewis <laughs> 
the end of the year, we're going to have a Royal Rumble. With all the characters that I have made, we're going to turn them up to their respectful levels, and we're going to have a Royal Rumble with all the friends of the subscribers, people, and they're going to have one big match and see who comes out on top. He said, Big Bad Papa Smurf. I ain't no telling who love to win it. I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn all those wrestlers up to level 90. And we're just gonna let y'all go at it. And we're gonna see who who comes out on top. I have the next person picked out that I'm gonna do the wrestler of so I kind of uh, had this person in mind that I wanted to do and it got mentioned the other day uh, and kind of opened Pandora's box so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do the next the next victim <laughs> He said, I got to drop a little weight. <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of in the heavyweight group. <laughs> Don't feel bad. I'm right there with It will not be Jody, I can tell you that. That's all I'm going to tell you. Although Miss Jody has given me permission to make one of her, and I will do so. But the next one will not be Miss Jody. But it will be it will be somebody from the catfish community, and it's going to be funny. I had actually told my wife the other day, she said, who are you going to make next? And I told her who it was going to be. And, and she's like, that'll be hilarious. Yeah, I got too much time on my hands. <laughs> so we have... I have 14 days to complete round one of the Bass Masters tournament. We will I get three chances in each round, one hour each chance, for a total of three hours fishing time per round. I will probably do one of those hours on the live each round, so there'll be three Bassmasters lives coming up. I got some requests to do those last time, so probably do the tournament again on on live. I need <laughs> I need to get out more. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna start going fishing now. Get this we got this boat. He's also gonna be putting some Willow trees in the boat stall over there. So we can also, on days we don't go out on the boat, we just fish on the dock out in the slip. And that's usually good productive fishing. Uh, 
and there's not a whole lot of people down there because unless you have a boat in, you can't fish on the dock. So that's somewhere where I can do a live and stay out of the sun, so to speak. Uh, I try not to sweat. I work, I, in fact, I break a sweat trying not to sweat if I ain't got to. Uh, I went went to the grocery store the other day and, and, and couldn't hardly wait to get home. So I get them debt burn clothes off. Get my movie roll. <laughs> he said rats a new wrestler movie. If they had one, I trust me I would. I, I in a flash. Uh Yeah, they, I was ready to get home and get out of them doggone clothes. Uh, get out of that grocery store with all them screaming kids. I got home, got me something cold to drink, went and took me a shower, got took my gun off. Watch some YouTube. Yeah, me and Albert, we got too much time on our hands, right? I gotta have some gas pull on. Run out of half a tank of gas trying to find the doggone right direction to go in. And I know my wipers is running, it ain't running, it ain't raining, but it may start, so I'm just leaving them on until I stop. <laughs> Right, and then turn right. That snuck up on me. Golly. Wow. Turn right. Keep right, and then turn right. Turn right. Well, that wind is blowing here. I'm basically tell you that wind is up. Uh, it's cooled off here. It stormed last night. All right. I think we're in Vegas. That sign says Vegas. So I think we're in Las Vegas. Keep right and then turn right. Watch the grandson three times. Got a dog, Alvin Lewis. You only 17 years old, you got grandkids? I don't know what to say about that. No, you ain't no dog on 17 year old. Turn right. Be glad to get out of this town, I know that. Lakes are filling up good here. Yeah. 
Well, I'm gonna go. Um, Keep left and then turn left. Speaking of speaking of lakes, turn left. I'm gonna go over to the dock. Probably and fish. Uh, uh, before I go to the pontoon boat, probably probably go over to the dock over here at on Lake Louisville and fish a little bit. And that's probably going to be first chance I get weekend in March. I'm probably going to Saturday, and I'll probably make a video. Keep right. And then turn right. Turn right. I don't drive, so I guess I can turn right on the red light, right? I shall get y'all in a wreck. <laughs> Keep right. And then turn right. Turn right. He started early. Didn't we all? <laughs> One time, I got my, I guess my first serious for, you know, 17-year, 18-year-old kid, girlfriend, and, and I brought her to meet my mother and everything, and, and after the girl went home, my mother told me, said, well, uh, uh, I don't want no grandkids. Uh, yet and of course you know me I, I'm always looking to be funny and I said well we passed that and she turned white as a ghost <laughs> yeah we passed that stage already or she stood there a minute and she was shocked and white as a ghost and I had to let her off the hook I think she's about to stop breathing All right, I gotta, I gotta get some gas here, so I'm gonna have to pull over here and investigate my map. Yeah, we passed that, Mom. We didn't pass that a while back. Wonder if my mother didn't kill me when I was young. She had this talking bird. I didn't know anything about a talking bird. And so she got this bird, brought him home. Well, she said, oh, well, he can learn to talk. And I'm thinking, yeah, that uh, pigeon looking son of a gun ain't gonna learn to talk. But anyway, I was probably about 17, 18 years old. I used watch ball games all the time. I'd get frustrated if something happened in the game and I'd pop off an SOB or something. And that doggone bird, <laughs> he picked that up. And she, she walked by him one day and he went, well, son of a... And biggest day and I'm like oh. <laughs> yeah I didn't know that bird was going to be able to talk like that <laughs> she's like what am I supposed to do now if the preacher comes by I said you better put a towel over that cage <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Note to self. If somebody tells you they got a talking bird, don't cuss them right because it will pick it up. I get up past this curve right here, I'm gonna have to stop. Check my map for gas. I gotta have some gas. Or diesel. Diesel, ugly. Diesel. Alright, let's just shut it down right here. Without running over anything. Oh, check the map. Where is the gas? Uh-oh. Oh, it's right here. All right. Let me put a pin right here. Drive safe. All right, let's see if I can get back on the road here without getting run over. Y'all gonna have to let me on now. I'm getting on one way or the other. Jabba! Jabba, I had... I hadn't played Call of the Wild, but I've been shooting that bow. I've been over to that parquet range. I think I'm... I think I'm fairly confident that we... We're in good shape. I just talked about us during the live stream on the 16th. <clears throat> I rear-ended that car. Well, practice some, some tomorrow. <laughs> I will. <laughs> we will, uh, I practice every day a little bit. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, I'll send you a. Uh, oh. Sorry about that. That popped my hip. I'll send you on. Uh, I'll send you a message on Steam. We'll get on there. Uh, Go straight on. Get on there and uh, play a little bit. Iron it out, get all the. I want to run a. <clears throat> I want to run a test live tomorrow. If you got time, make sure we got all our ducks in a row. We don't have no echo and stuff going on. So I have. I got the headphones to work. Uh, I didn't have the uh, splitter that runs the mic. Uh. But I went. I got the splitter now, so I'm, I'm gonna test that tonight. But the the headphones I was having uh, didn't bother you about it, but I'm still using the desk mic to talk. But I've got the splitter now, so yeah, I'll send you a Steam message. Uh, nope, <laughs> no pressure. It's just a great one. Yeah, that makes me feel real good. <laughs> I appreciate that. <clears throat> yeah, don't, don't, uh, don't miss Troy after we went through all this trouble for me to 
get you a great one spotted and get you on the map and on the live with everybody. Yeah, don't miss. <laughs> I think I'm fairly confident that I'm probably going to be all right. I shoot that bow pretty good. I've been shooting it about 30, 40 minutes every day. So. I'm fairly confident anything 40, within 40, 45 yards or in, I'm going to be able to take it pretty easy. When does the bass open start again? I haven't been able to get any get on trying to get Ah, uh, you go, Lord, got the shingles. Good night, Irene. I sure feel sorry for you. Uh, the bass open is open now. Uh, I think. Uh, I think you got 16, uh, 14 days. Why am I, I feel like I'm dragging here? Keep left and then turn left. Turn left. I think you got 14 days to complete round one. I think you can get in it now. Go straight on. I've been, uh, make sure I don't overrun the gas station. I've been, uh, practicing fishing. I've been finding my hot spots, so I think I'm fairly confident that I'm ready to go. Uh, I found some really good spots. Get ready to turn right. Uh, turn right. Okay, let's find a new route. I think I turned into the wrong section. Yeah, shingles are a nightmare, dude. Is there gas back here for me? Yeah, there's gas right there. All right. This is going to be tricky, boys and girls. Shingles are a nightmare. Yeah. hurt to move. I haven't had them. I've had some I've had some friends. I'm just gonna be a nightmare to get these guys. I've had some friends that's had them and I know they're a nightmare to deal with. They're very painful. Uh, in fact I may not get gas here, boys and girls. I may not be able to get this truck turned around or to get it. I've had them. I had uh, one of my police officers one time had him. Who's and he very painful. Sometimes you can't even guys couldn't even move. I'm a, I cannot pull up far enough to get gas. I'm gonna have to swing this around. Uh, he was in a lot of pain, uh, and he would. Go to move quickly or something, and uh, low air pressure. I did not engage the parking brake.
Let's do this. I'd like to know what in the devil I'm hung on back right here. Parking brake engaged. Ready to roll. <clears throat> Low pressure in the brake. I, I have no idea what that means. Well, I don't really know what the problem is, to tell you the truth. <clears throat> For some reason, I'm stuck. Surprising, right? I turned on the air brakes, which was probably a mistake. So, let me turn the air brakes off. Air brake simulation. couple. He said I probably <laughs> He said I probably ripped the tank off. <laughs> you bad as Alvin Lewis. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> yeah, right. Well I turned that A brake setting on and uh First time I've used it, and uh, it's probably the last time I used it. It's a pain in the butt until I figure out how to do it. Oh, what did Ernie say? All right, let's couple this Joker back up and get out of here.
Omega. This has turned out to be an extremely adventurous trip, has it not? Try to get this out here without smashing the coke machine. I think they could have made this any tighter. Golly. Don't run over the propane tank, Troy. Alright, we're back on the road. Let me turn these doggone windshield weapons off now. Look like Stan. <laughs> Let me kill him with you. All right. He said, "There we go. Rip off the cab." No, but I hit the. I hit the. Uh, I did move the coke machine. Did you see it move? I hate these long nose trucks. All right. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Good to see you. Wipers on, wipers off. Let me reset my navigation and we're ready to go. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, we're still on track. <laughs> well, I, I turned the air brakes on. Uh, so I've never used them. Hog leg uses them. Turn left. So I want to be give them a try. Hey, I turned them off. Turn right. We got baseball tomorrow at one o'clock. Earth's pitch will be at 1.10 p.m. So come join me tomorrow. Turn left. The thumbnail is up for that ball game. We will be taking on the Los Angeles Angels in game number seven of the franchise. Right. Played game and one opening right. day last Wednesday. This will be game number seven. Turn right. And the of 162 ball games. They will all not be broadcast, of course, but once a week they will be. And ever how many games I play that week will determine what game we're on. My record is five and one. I have won the last two ball games by a slim margin, but I did win. Turn Join me tomorrow for baseball and the national anthem and all kinds of good stuff. First pitch at 110B. And yes, I will play all 162 games. And then we hopefully will make the playoffs and hopefully get to the World Series. Oh, that's all right. I know y'all got a lot of things going on. I'm just glad to see you, Melissa. I know you got y'all stuff going with your shows. KPs and, and life, and, but it makes my day when you stop by and say hi, so I'm glad you're here. <clears throat> and we get to we get to talk and chat a little bit. I see you in chat. So and the good thing about it is if somebody misses it for some reason, they can always watch it on the rerun.
I had the settings on that game a little bit off. I'm turning the settings up. Uh, I don't want to win every ball game. Uh, if, uh, well, I want to win every ball game, but I want to earn it. I don't want it to just be, hey, okay, we won nine to nothing today. Nah. The last two ball games I've won by one run. So, and I had to come back in yesterday's game to win the ball game. Thank you, thank you, Miss Melissa. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna order Red Lobster tonight and watch a movie and I don't know whatever she wants to do. Like I said, we'll watch a movie or I'll uh, model. <clears throat> she may want me to model my movie for her. I don't know what she's gonna want, but whatever she wants, we'll do. Good to see you, Hogleg. Hogleg, we got Steve uh, a remote control and a set of headphones, and he's driving the truck. We got to get him on the convoy, Hogleg. <clears throat> I helped him yesterday get his remote control hooked up and his headphones going, and we tested his voice chat out. He's ready to go. I've been messing around with the Bassmasters getting ready for the next tournament. I'll probably do this Bassmasters open on uh, Lake Hamilton and the next one I probably won't do uh, I'll probably skip one and then go do it again. Basically because it's a lot of preparation that goes into that practice-wise. I'll have about, uh, probably about 20 hours, 25 hours of actual play time for the practice of doing it in the tournament. Go straight on. I'm sure we will watch the last of, my wife and I will probably watch the last episode of Hell's Kitchen and then probably a movie while I eat me some fried shrimp. All right guys, we're back on the pavement. We got 7.19 to go and it all start going pretty quick now and we have been live for one hour and 34 minutes. It's been a long trip and I've kind of slow poked around so we may run over a little bit, a little over two hours today, but if I run over, I generally don't hear any complaints, so. Good Lord, I was looking down at the chat, didn't see that broke down bus. Get, get, did I get my wife a magic mover? Not unless I want to get a divorce. <laughs> straight on what are y'all talking about let's see I hope so hey, you got that right you just never know Crow's full of surprises Try to make up a little time here. Now, if I can stay on this interstate, I'm fixing to get with it.
uh, yes, I'm driving right down the middle of the road. I ain't no traffic around. I'm going to use every inch I can use. She'll keep me on this interstate for about another 300 miles. I'll get this, I'll get this load burned up quick. We're gonna get Melissa. We're gonna get Coach on there. I was telling him yesterday you got to do a live with. Go him. straight on. He needs a little bit more time to get everything figured out. I was on the phone with him about oh probably about an hour yesterday, getting all his headphones and everything and his control remote control working out. <laughs> He needs a little bit more practice time, but we're going to get him on there. Me and Hogleg get him on there. Now, that's going to be a show. Uh, that's a CO coach going down the road telling stories. Now, that'll be a lot of fun. We just uh, we just let Stan get up there ahead of us. Me and Hogleg, we just cut our mics off and let, and let Coach tell stories all night while we ride down the road. <laughs> It'd be a lot of fun. Don R. Come on now. Let's get on down the road. We got to get this load to town on time. This is a long trip. Hey, I got to cruise the road. Do I remember how to turn the joker on? Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know what that was. But... Uh, that sounded like the trailer cover loose. It didn't, but golly. Troy got call of the wild loaded up. Just ordered a remote control. Good deal. Yeah, they are pretty cool. Uh, I, I I may look into getting one of those. Uh, there's a lot of those uh, big time truck driving gamers. Uh, I don't. I thought I uncoupled got no trailers when I thought, but I didn't. I hit the wrong button. Hello, Caitlin. How are you? <sighs> Caitlin, I tune into your stream at night. I don't always see, I don't always get on chat, but I got you turned on while the TV's up here. It's good to see you. I get to watch you a little bit before time to bed. Caitlin's channel is growing fast. Closing in. Doing well. Let me pause this for just a minute.
Give me just a minute and I'll get back to it here. One second, guys. I get you take and get back to you. Okay. All right, we're back. Bears got you going crazy. Are they? Are they messed up again? Or Caitlin, you have a range now. Uh, are they are they messed up again? I think they should have left. The, I think they should have left the bears on the daytime hunt. I think they were a lot. I think they were a lot uh, better on the daytime hunt. hard to grind for them at night. I know they were trying to get the pumas separated from spooking the bears, but I think they messed things up. I think they should have just left that alone. You're very welcome. I, I've been meaning to do that a while. I'm, I'm, I use OBS, so I can't do it my OBS. Or I used to not be able to do it. I may now, but uh, I had YouTube ready to go right then, so I just put it on there. I think they should have left the bears at night. I, I, God, this truck should burn a lot of gas. Uh, this must be an extremely heavy load. Why are you hearing double? Is anybody else having audio problems besides Don? Go straight on. Uh. Yeah, they should have. They should have left those. Uh, <clears throat> oh. You're gonna hear you're gonna hear a delay for a second. Uh, okay. I don't hear anything. I turn the TV on above my head, so it may be on your end, Don. You said fix it, Rick. <laughs> I think that would have been the better idea to move the bears to a different part of the map. Well, it's hard to grind a great one. Go straight on. Uh, in the dark. So why would you make a great one bear and then put it in the dark? So I think they need to. I think they need to adjust. 
that I don't, you know, but, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that they shouldn't be in the game, the Pumas, but it's, it's, it's me. Uh, OBS is having some sort of issue today. It reconnected and disconnected. So it's not you, it's me. Yeah, it's me. Is it just the picture or is it just the audio or what is it? It's, yeah, it's, it's OBS. It's it's uh it disconnected earlier, but it discon it reconnected. So it's OBS. Hey, my internet bill. <laughs> I'd be quiet, Alvin Lewis. So what happens is sometimes OBS does a midday update and. They do it in the middle of the doggone day, and right while I'm doing stream. So when they do, sometimes when they do an update, if I'm not updated, it's does that. But it may come and go again. But we'll just ride it out. Albert Lewis cut the wire. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I gotta have some more gas in a little bit. God, this truck burning a lot of gas. Hijacking his signal. That's a medical crime, Alvin Lewis. You know that, right? Got the cruise control on, courtesy of Hogleg, who taught me how to do that. Yeah, it's gonna, it's, it's, it, it's OBS. See, there's a, um, it's something, it's on my end, it's either internet or OBS. There's a, uh, a box that I just noticed down there in the bottom OBS, and now it's green, so. All ago it was red, so it's probably OBS or,
the internet detection. But we got 40 or 50 mile an hour winds today. So it may be that. Oh, Nathan, how are you? We are down to 407 miles. And we go pretty quick. I accidentally hit the horn. What did Alvin Lewis say? Troy, you need to close the other site you got open, you know. <clears throat> I ain't got no other site open. <laughs> what you talking about? <clears throat> he said my, my, my X-rated side. All right, it's back. I got another, I got an internet connection, guys. It's a problem. Something's going wonky with the internet today. Can y'all hear me? It may do that again. There's my buddy Aaron. Hello, Aaron. Give me a thumbs up, y'all can hear me. What the world was that? I hit something. Don't know what it was.
All right. It's it's the internet, so it may it may. <laughs> it may do it again, but we're just gonna have to ride it out today. I'm watching that box down there. So it's transmitting green for a while and it'll go red. It's, it's the internet, so we're just gonna finish her out today. I usually don't have that problem. I bet you anything you wanna bet it's OBS did an update. I gotta get some gas. Where's the nearest gas station? Right up here. I hope I can make it that far. not work out. We fix the split hairs here. We made it. I don't think we're supposed to pass on this side, but we're doing it anyway. We got the hammer down now. It's going to be tight whether I make it on gas. Oh, I'm all off in the grass looking at chat. <laughs> Said I run him over. I'm going too fast, I can tell you that. This gonna be extremely tight. Whether I can get there with the gas I've got. Off to be interesting. I may run this joker completely out of gas. It's bad enough that I can't drive, but when you can't start gauging your gas, you got a problem. Come on. I wish these slow pokes would come on. I ain't a doggone way to get around them either. <laughs> he said, can you imagine what the other truckers are thinking? They probably think he'd get out of his way.
Lord have mercy. Got a bag of tacos. I only been sitting there three hours. Uh, yeah, and you eat them tacos and you be on the pot three hours. I mean, it's gonna be gas tight here, folks. Where is that doggone gas station? Oh, there's one right here. Ooh. We're gonna make it glory be. Uh, no, we can't go around there, folks. No, we can't do that, lady. Try this one. Oh, Lord. Drive safe. Get ready to cook steaks. Sounds good, Aaron. Keep left. <clears throat> he said wrestle me after we eat tacos. No, he ain't neither. I'm fixing to get off right here. Never mind. I'll find a new route. And I think there's a gas station right there. You got gas for truckers? I think they do. I ain't getting nowhere near him after he's been eating them tacos. We've been sitting out three hours. Go straight on. Herrick is mad because I beat him up. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh. Reroute. I told my wife the other day, she's, I, I told her, I said, it's a good thing that, that these people are good natured. Me making rasters, people, they be throwing eggs at me. Yeah, there's some gas right up here. We're going to get a little fuel here. We're going to finish this trip out, believe it or not. It didn't start out too good there, boys and girls. But she's a, she's a coming together. Recomputing. Ah, uh, you just... Make a U-turn. Oh, in a minute I will. All right. It was rich. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> you know it was. Oh, my God. <clears throat> you know it was. Well, what's going to be interesting is is after I make all these characters and things, at the end of the year, I'm going to turn everybody's abilities up. We're going to have one big Royal Rumble and see who comes out on top. All right. All right, let's see about the best way to get out of here is. We'll take a little look. I think I want to be good just by pulling around, so that's what we're going to do. He said 6 1 at 248. Well. The goal, the goal is to make a, 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 new route. a fun character, uh, not so much a fat character. Turn left. Uh, if you make if you make somebody too fat, they may throw an egg at you. Uh, now, uh, I probably didn't. Uh, Uh, 
I probably could have added a little bit more weight to you. He was only 170. Uh, no, I didn't call you fat. I said I didn't make you too fat. But if you want me to call you fat, I will. <laughs> I believe it's I believe it's a, I believe in giving subscribers what they want. <clears throat> Good to see you, 205. Good to see you. We got 210 miles to go. You know, to go pretty quick now. We've been live two hours and eight minutes. That must be Stan up there stopping in the middle of the road. Come on, Stan. I certainly don't want to get driving too fast down through here. I showed up loose. Turn left. He said you're going too slow to be staying. You got that right. Oh, that's what Steve told me last night. He said, I don't wreck. He said, I want to drive about 35, 40 miles an hour. I'm like, good Lord. I'd hope not. That's lawnmower speed. Take a thousand mile trip like I took. You drive 35 mile an hour, take five Go hours. straight on. Back. All I gotta tell you, old coach was the last person in the world that I thought it would be playing this trucking game, but he is a. Uh, He's playing it. And every time I see Stan coming to my rear view mirror, I hear that song right there that he just played. All right. We are rolling. Like I said, we're going to have some other driving games coming up. Golly, look at this. Come on. Been nice if they left me on the interstate. 162 miles to go. I am going to try to get up to speed here and pass these cars. But I think I can do it. I may not be able to do it. I need a straightaway to do it. We're 
going for it right here. Hang on. Nope, we're not either. Golly, stop it, Joker. Now that was a stand move, stop in the middle of the road. Alright, let's try this again. What is that? Is that a tunnel? No. It's a stop sign. Clovis! We have made it to the big town of Clovis. We'll see you, Don. Good luck, brother. I apologize for having internet issues today. But... I usually don't have that trouble. Good Lord, could you imagine Ernie and me and Hogleg Go and, straight on. and Stan? Well, you know, we can run eight at a time. So, now you won't talk about a pile up. Can you imagine? Can you imagine Stan leading us with eight of us following? Good Lord, you talk about. Uh, Crash up derby. I sure ain't gonna drive my truck on that day. I ain't gonna be like hog leg. I ain't gonna let Stan ruin my truck. <laughs> I'm just glad that I got that on film when hog leg went airborne. That was funny. Uh, or got that recorded. So he's working on it. It'll be a lot of fun, Ernie. Yo, sure well. Go straight on. So, uh, The other day I was getting ready to play this game and uh, or take some screenshots and thumbnails. I can't remember what I was doing, but anyway, I, I reached up over the keyboard to push the alt and the escape button to minimize the screen. And I had this hard pain on. in my side. I, I guess I, when I reached for that key, I strained my oblique. It's been giving me a a fit for two, three days. It's finally getting better now. Big Slim. I pulled my oblique muscle in my side. Guess I moved the wrong way. Now, you know you're getting old when you reach up and push a key on the keyboard and you injure yourself. Good to see you, Big Slim. Good to see you, my friend. Go straight on. Turn left. I still wreck this truck a little bit now and then, but I've come a long way from the first time I started driving this thing. Let me see what Ernie said. I pause this while I can read Ernie's chat.
Got to take the police cam in a few days. Trying to get back in the squad car. I've been hung up on this Bass Masters tournament. These things are a lot of, a lot of fun. These tournaments, a lot of good competitors. And I think there was over 500 people in it this time. So it varies on how many get in it. Kind of depends on when it is, but they're pretty much doing this thing consistently now. So hopefully they're going to keep doing these tournaments. Well, go in there and tell her to hurry up, Ernie. I bet you you won't. <laughs> I'd be like me telling my wife to hurry up. Global Mills. Somebody honking at me back here for something. I don't know what they're honking for. Oh, good Lord, look at this. Oh, you idiot. Golly, look at this. I saved that. He, he flat cut me off. Wow, look at this mess. Woo! <laughs> that was some fancy driving there, baby. Golly. He said, if I flip the truck, he's going to make a clip of it. That's all right. If I flip it, you're more than welcome to make a clip of it. Uh, I'm gonna try not to flip it. I only got 65 miles to go. It won't be the first time somebody laughed at me on this channel. <laughs> it probably won't be the last. Straight on. Oh, mercy. Okay, let's find a new route. That got a little cracked up there, didn't it? Golly. Go straight on. You know, since it's setting off the gas pedal now. Exit left. Oh, that was best there. Exit left. I went to hit for the brake. Left. I couldn't find it. Okay, we're good. Got a little scratch damage, but we're good. It'll bump right on out. Yeah, my last clip, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but made clip be clipping the truck. Golly. It won't be the first time. She said, red meat, stop. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> I went for the break, and I realized I wasn't going to have enough time, so I just weaved. All right, that'll buff out. It ain't no big deal. Almost 600 sub. Yeah, I'm closing in, ain't I? Well...
I'm just grateful for the crew I've got. Y'all are a bunch of good folks, and I enjoy seeing you. Red beans go faster, huh? You mean like this? Is that what you mean? <laughs> go straight on. straight on. Twenty-seven miles to go, boys and girls, and we have completed a thirteen mile, a thirteen hundred mile trip. And that took two hours, probably about twenty five to twenty six minutes. We got nineteen miles to go and I'm gonna put my foot in it like red flintstone, I'm going to put my foot through the floor. Keep left, and then turn left. Turn left. Oh, yeah, it happens. Well, this looked like Amarillo with all these gas oil pumps going. We have made it. Said he got stopped by and pick up all the fragments I leave behind. Well, at least we made it here on on time. Hello, Nick Ramsey. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Off to. Make a cash in the scraps. Well, you probably got quite a bit of scraps. And we are. It's all over now. I'm gonna park the truck myself today. Just gotta ease it in here. Until she on the pad until she tells me to stop. And that is the end of the job. We did it. I got a good work sign. So I lost $3,000, but I made 39 So it's not a bad day. You consume 293 gallons. Golly. We made it. <clears throat> I 
I apologize for the uh, technical difficulties today. I don't. It must be an internet thing. But it seems to be working now. Right when the stream's about over with, right? All right, baseball tomorrow. Uh, they need to increase your interest. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, at least I can drive fast, and I'm not like my friend Stan. Uh, you rolled your ankle or sprained it. Uh, how'd you do that? Uh, I have 16 wonderful people in here today still watching my uh, attempt at driving a truck. Let me give out a few of these regulars wrenches. Nathan now has a wrench and so does Nick Ramsey. Nick's I work in construction. Uh, yeah. That'll do it. That'll do her every time. Just because I give you a wrench doesn't mean you necessarily have to do a whole lot of moder moder uh, Lord. moderating. It's basically to keep you from getting timed out. But you guys are always welcome to drop links. And, uh, Squash bots. We hadn't had any bots. We've been good. Uh, <clears throat> well, people get timed out accidentally sometimes. Uh, and uh, it's just a... Uh, I, I like to give wrenches to people I know it's not going to cause problems and create drama. Uh, somebody that I'm skeptical of that's going to give me a problem or give the chat a problem, they don't get one always right away, but when you've been hanging around here a while, I'd like you to have one so you won't get timed out, and not everybody can come at the same time, and every once in a while we have a little, we have a little drama, and this is a drama free channel, we do not condone drama. Outside affairs do not matter in the fun zone. That's what this is about. The fun zone. So. Wednesday is baseball. Thursday is fishing. We're going to do a little, little crop fishing. We're going to do a little something different. Gives me a chance to sit back and mellow and chat. and Spend more time reading chat and less time trying to drive. Uh, so, I apologize about the technical difficulties we've had today. That thing is still going and flashing down there in different colors, which tells me that we're not on point, but it's internet. It's not, it's not anything else but internet. All right. Well... I will see y'all tomorrow for baseball. Uh, and as the great Porky Pig would say, I bleep, 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 bleep. That's all, folks. God bless you and have a good day. And be ready to see baseball tomorrow. Hopefully we can get a win. Yes, Nick, baseball tomorrow at 1 p.m. First pitch, 110.
He said, put my hunting moo-moo on. <laughs> I don't have a hunting moo-moo. Uh, but I will get dressed for our live stream. I won't do that to moo-moo. I will wear my hunting outfit if you're still back there, Jebba. <laughs> somebody uh, somebody will probably email, I mean, uh, send me a, a camouflage moo-moo now just because I said that. Y'all be good. I'll see you.